Shola is a very ancient forest type that mainly keeps to the valleys and to the edges. And then in between there's grasslands, which are extremely biodiverse. They're such an important ecosystem, so special, only found in the southern western Ghats. And it, just to be honest, it's beautiful. It also has very high water retention ability, which means that the habitat soaks in a lot of water and lets it out through a very long period of time. In fact, most of the South Indian rivers originate in the Shola habitat. Eighty-seven percent of the plateau was covered by grasslands. Uh, now we're down to very few small isolated pockets. The British started it. Most of our grasslands, which they considered at that time as wastelands, they planted some experimental plantation trees, exotic species, to see if they could make some income and to give the local people firewood. It's mainly acacia, eucalyptus, and pine. They are all over the plateau and it's going very quickly. The existing grasslands are very slowly being invaded by other woody species. It's not just that the habitat is going, but the entire ecosystem for many species, many perhaps undiscovered species, is also being lost by the loss of this grassland. The grassland species are as important, if not more, than the forest species. The Negri Pipit, the endemic bird in this landscape, the grassland bird, has actually gone locally extinct from some of these habitats because the grasslands have gone extinct from there as well. This is a big revelation for me and in terms of policy that is something to be thought about. Nobody's planting trees in the grasslands today, but what's happening is that some plantations are also spreading into the montane grasslands. They're in danger of being taken over by eucalyptus, wattle, pine going into that. Clear felling a plantation brings about all kinds of ecological problems. When you clear fell it, you get a whole variety of weeds. We've seen that recently. There's many places in Cody and in the Palni Hills where weeds have taken over areas that have just been logged two years ago. Not just weeds, but also then wattle trees, eucalyptus coming back at an even greater density than they were before. So I think it was a misguided notion that the plantations could be removed and therefore the grasslands could be brought back. But that's no longer feasible, no longer possible. All the plantations should be basically left alone. Make sure that the spread doesn't happen. In some cases, you might be able to push the plantations back a bit from existing grasslands. The sholas are very strong, they can look after themselves, but the grasslands are such a special ecosystem. So grasslands should be saved because of their extraordinary biodiversity and there is twice as many species in the grasslands. Everything should be directed at saving them, restoring them. Save our last remaining 15% roughly of grasslands. <laughs>